Uh, Dave's watching on YouTube and his, uh, you know, opin opinions differ on whether Greg is going to be uh, turn this whole thing around and bring us to a, a, a bowl, a January one bowl game, a Rose Bowl, whatever the case might be. What's the difference that you've seen in him the second time around? And you said you spent a little time watching your brother play for him. I've noticed a difference. Uh, he's talked to me about that quite a bit. Uh, have you seen the difference in him at all, or did you, do you remember much when he was first here? Oh, yeah. I, honestly, I, I followed it really closely. And, you know, yeah. opportunity I ever had to listen to him speak and things like that. And, you know, one of the things that I've always thought was amazing about him, when he was here the first time, for the most part, I was an assistant coach. But uh, the guy's so committed to it that, you know, like, I always felt like, you know, it just sounds crazy that you'd be able to just, like, call the head coach at Rutgers. But, like, he was that – that good to me always, you know, uh, had some good players. So, you know, I understand that, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, I take uh, those calls too. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, um, but you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, so I actually spent a lot of time, you know, I used to come down and watch practice when Anthony was playing, when Teal was playing. So, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time down here. Then my brother coached here, but that was after, after coach left. So, uh, the one thing he's talked about is, you know, uh, almost like his goal and his purpose, you know, the goal to win a national championship, but the purpose to make a difference in kids' lives and, and you know, to really be an incredible mentor uh, to our kids. Uh, I think there's a lot of value in that. I, you know, I think that's really what it's all about. And I, I believe that if kids know that you love them, you could coach them hard. If kids know that you care about them and that it's more than football, then, you know, they're going to open up and they're going to be willing to be pushed uh, and he's going to push him, I'm sure. You know, I mean, we haven't been on the field yet, but, uh, you know, there's no way around it, right? There's no way around hard work. I don't think you win national championships, Anthony, without putting in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So correct. I think that uh, – but, you know, what is different is he's making a – you know, at least what he says. You know, I mean, I wasn't in, in the meetings every day, but uh, what he says, you know, that's probably the biggest difference, you know, that, that making sure it's a concerted effort as a purpose to be – uh, an incredible mentor to kids. Uh, you know, honestly, from the outside, I've always thought he was that, but, uh, you know, I'm sure we all have things that we feel like we can get better at. And, you know, I guess that that's a major thing that I think, you know, might help get you over the top. I mean, obviously we have a ways to go. We got a lot of work to do and we haven't even been on the field yet together. So, uh, you know, as a team, so there's a lot of work to do, but um, I, I don't think the goal has changed. I think his goal has always been to win a national championship at Rutgers and, you know, I don't think that changes, but the, the way to get there maybe changes a little bit, the method, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis.